Okay, we're going to hockey now with Sam Spooner. Sam, uh, Vikings A won today, 5-1, maintaining uh, position at the top. And the good news for them is that Backers A drew. So a little bit of a gap developing there at the top. Yeah, Vikings A have taken uh, the win today, meaning they're a point ahead of Backers A today. And I'll, the goal scorers of Vikings A were Tom Wilson with three, who's been on t- on fire these past few weeks. He's just banging goals in for fun. Uh, Stevie Crow with one, Drew and Corlett with one. Um, but the big result of the day, as you said, is the Valkyries A, Backers A, two-all draw. I expected this one to be a Backers A win, although they have been weaker than in previous years i think this must be the first points they've dropped in possibly four or five years so uh, it's it's a huge result in the bearing for the title and it really puts vikings men's a in the driving seat vikings need to push on now and really for the for next week and aim to and aim to uh, put some more points on the board because backers are struggling and it'll be interesting to see what happens when vikings a meet backers a later in the season and see what results they can get out of that Sorry, I'm just uh, getting some more re- results from the uh, Women's Premier League here. Do you want, shall we add those now? And then we'll talk about them in a bit, obviously. But um, we've got Valkyries A7, Ramsey A1, and uh, Backers A8, Harlequins A0. Brill, thank you. Okay, and uh, where have we got now? Uh, Vikings B0, Backers B1. It was the uh, other match in the uh, Men's Premier League today. Yeah, I had this one down as my game of the day in the domestic leagues, and it really has, it really did show to be one of the games of the day. It was physical, it was end to end, it was played in great spirits with huge amounts of determination from both sides. Um, Backers B deservedly went 1 0 up um, with of some intense pressure. With that being said, Vikings B, they deserved something out of that, but they just could not squeeze that goal in. And when they did, the whistle had already been blown, which is, is, it's just one of those things that's happened. There was no sense that you couldn't tell there was an advantage there. But Vikings aren't disappointed with their performance today. They really put the effort in. It's the result is slightly disappointed them, but we've got to play them again. And I think that one will be a huge game again. But well done to Backers B. First points of the season. Okay. Sorry, just making a note of scorers as well. It's all going here this evening. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Right, in PWC Men's Division 1. Harlequins a nil, Castletown a five. Quinns kept it tight until half time, and then uh, Castletown a just went for it in the second half. By the looks of it, yeah. When you got Robin Mason Masson up front, um, it makes a huge difference. He will run for the whole game. He is he is very very fit young lad, and he really, from what I see, um, from the reports I've received, the Robin Mason, Robin Masson, Christian Stereopoulos, and Danny Knifton ran the show today up top. Danny Niveton scoring an absolute worldy of a goal. Top corner from an impossible angle. Apparently surprised everybody on the pitch, including himself. But he's come away with a superb, well, superbly taken hat-trick today for the win there. And that's Cast Town's march for the title long going. And the other result in Division 1, Vikings C4, Backers Colts 0, Vikings led 3-0 at half-time. Uh, sorry, I think I was 4-1 uh, to Vikings C. Um, for what, what did I say? Sorry, four 0 Oh dear, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Backers Colts, forgot um, your goal there. Yeah, Backers Colts goal scorer was Andy Neal. They are struggling a little bit this season. Um, in terms of the the players that they've normally taken from the youth groups, they've kind of all been moved up the teams now, and there seems to be a little bit of a gap between the juniors that have come through the cult system and those that are coming through from the youngsters. There's just a two or three years age difference, so they're going to take a little while to bed in. And Vikings C, though, have some immense players in their side. Ash Dougal with a hat-trick today and Lee Cowell. They're looking to keep the pressure up on Castan A for the return fixture and try, and try and get hold of that title in their own hands. Moving into Division 2, not many goals scored here at all today. Castletown B1, Harlequins B1 and Bacchus C0, Saracens B1. Yeah, for, it, this wasn't from uh, one to try and there's uh, a lot of efforts on goal. Um, Bacchus C... Again, they've uh, they always have, seem to have a, an up and down season. Some games they'll perform really, really well. Um, they've already won a game this season, but Saracens B, given their due, they've struggled so far, but they've come into a game and they've really gone after it. John T. Bugatti with the goal there for Saracens B to lift them off the bottom of the table. Uh, Harlequins B, again, that's another team that struggled this season. They lost their opening fixture, uh, 8-1. 
But Cast Town B, who were one, who are one of the favourites to to challenge Ramsey B at the top of the table, there just couldn't find a way through. And George Ratcliffe uh, put them one up ahead, one up uh, half time. In the second half, Daniel Cross uh, equalised deservedly so for Cast Town B, and uh, Harlequins ended up soaking up a lot of pressure towards the end of that game. Moving into the women's uh, leagues and in the Premier. Plenty of goals scored here in contrast to that men's division two. Backers A8, Harlequins A0. Yeah, huge result for Backers A. They keep they want to keep the heat up on uh, Vikings A. And although they've dropped a point this season, I think they're the one team that you can say out of all of them in that league now that's uh, probably going to challenge them. I mean, Valkyries have done well the past couple of weeks, but um, they've already lost to Vikings A, so they're already two points behind now. Backers A are looking really good. They've scored a number of goals uh, already. They were 4-0 up in the first half. Freya Dushars with two. Catherine Crane with two. Sophie Hudson with two. Ellie Pearson and Emma Corti both with one. And a worthy mention to Harlequin's Sam Hassel, who by from a backers text has uh, was voted man of the match by backers players. Um, single-handedly won three shorts within the first three minutes for her team and was rock solid in defence. The scoreline doesn't suggest how well they played. Valkyries A7, Ramsey A1. Uh, Ramsey A have really struggled this season with the loss of a couple of key players. Um, and Valkyries A really put them to the sword today. Uh, half-time score was uh, 3-1 to Ramsey, uh, to Valkyries A, sorry. Valkyries goal scorers, Kamina Cavanda with three, Ellen Cleeter, Maxine Smalley, Rebecca Pate and Emily Kelly all with one. And since the opening day of the season when they lost to Vikings A, they've really turned up the heat and they've, they've put some good scores on the board. So hopefully they can continue to push. Just before we move to the final match in the uh, Women's Premier League, just a note to say that the Patrick Road, which had been closed earlier because of a two-vehicle road traffic collision, has now reopened again. Back to the Hockey Vikings, A continue their dominance as we expected today. 11-0 winners over Castletown, A 8-0 at half-time. Yeah, it's uh, second half, Vikings took their foot off the gas a little bit, you know, 8-0 up in the first half, but Castletown, A did not give up at any point in that game and they played with determination just to, not to try and lessen the score as such, but just to enjoy it and they did and everybody came off the pitch with smiles on their faces regardless of the score. Um, interesting note, Vikings A are yet to concede a goal or a short corner in any game, which is, after three games of the season, that's that just shows how strong they are so far. And they are absolutely favourites for, for another title and another double as well. Kim Carney with five, Kirsty Cooper with four, Sarah Blackman and Georgia Foxton with one each. PwC Women's Division 1, I just have one result here, Sam, have you got both? Uh, I have We're still yet. awaiting for that one. So we're still awaiting Castletown B, Ramsey B, but we do have Valkyries C1, Vikings B2. Yeah, this uh, Valkyries C have impressed me this season. They've, uh, they're punching well above their weight in terms of... They're, they're in the same league as their B, their B team, and they're only one point behind their B team. They, they are punching well above their weight, and Vikings B would have been huge favourites for this game. That being said, Vikings B had, uh, had much of the ball, but Donna Harrison... Took a well took, took a well taken goal for Valkyrie C. Daisy Loader scored two to uh, earn Vikings the points. Okay, Sam Spooner, thank you very much. That's where we'll leave the uh, hockey.